good morning, afternoon, evening, or whatever time it is where you are. Hi, June. And are you ready for the drawing? Because that's what we are going to do first before getting to the live tutorial. I know that I am really excited about it, but um, I'm going to talk for a few minutes because I need to do hi, Marilyn, hi, Ellen, because I have two people and hopefully they'll come on before I start the drawing um, who did not put any kind of I or O. Hi, Nunya. Hi, Darlene. And I wasn't able to put them in the drawing. And one is Daris uh, Zrazil. I messaged her on Facebook and I commented to uh, reply to one of her comments on the Kalyana Facebook page. But she, oh, there you are, Daris. Where are you? Are you in the US or outside the US? Hi, Cecile, Cindiana, Judy, Carrie, Dodo. So where are you located? So I can uh, write your name down. No, I didn't find any I. Anyway, I'm glad that you're here. Okay, and then the second person uh, has the username PJD Groot. If you are here, please let me know. So I'm going to put the wrist in the inside the US. Hi Marietta, hi Tina, hi Donna, hi Elaine, hi Chris. I don't know if I said hi Dodo. So before I start, I want to thank you once again all for all your support. Because as I said, I wouldn't be here without you. So once again, hi, Pauline. If PJ the Groot is on, please let me know if you're inside the US or outside the US so I can put you in the drawing. Uh, another thing that I wanted to remind you, uh, you know how I talked a few days ago, uh, a few days, a few weeks ago, about one of my subscribers who has been diagnosed with um, the worst form of glioblastoma. And I did uh, make a donation button for her on my blog. And everything that you might be donating will go straight to her PayPal account because she is... Um, uh, elderly and disabled and of course she doesn't have a lot of uh, income and also uh, if you want to leave her any um, well wishes or comments or whatever this is the blog post and she's going to uh, check it just be aware that I moderate the comments on my blog because I get a lot of spam so uh, I check that every evening and that will make the comments visible. So if you want to wish Deborah anything, please feel free to comment on that post. Hi, Cindy. And uh, she, by the way, she wants to thank everybody who um, sent her anything because it is absolutely uh, more than, than words can say how much appreciated it is. Hi, Sabine. So once again, is PJD Groot on or not? Because I could not find any indication of where they are located in the U.S. or outside the U.S. Well, I guess, unfortunately, not. Um, okay, I'm going to do like I did for the last uh, drawing. And first is the inside the US because there are more people. And I put all the names are on similar pieces of paper. And I'm going to shake, 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 shake. And then I'm going to use as before my little uh, tweezers to extract high frontal, high witch willow. I said, Marilyn, hi. I don't know. I'm really bad. 
Ah, uh, I'm still stirring, stirring, stirring. So this is for inside the US and the prize, the giveaway, it's not a prize, it's a giveaway, will be a hundred dollars worth of claying, crafting related materials. No? No? Remember, I have issues pinching. <laughs> That's why I'm actually using the tweezers, because it would be very hard for me. Okay, I got two. I need to get only one. Can I get only one? No, I got two again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying, maybe I should have made them in four. Okay, this time I did get only one. Let's see who it is. Tia Lisa Chapman. I don't even think she's she came over because I don't think I saw her. So Tia Lisa, you'll have to contact me on Facebook and uh, we'll get uh, talking about what I should send you for your giveaway. And no worries, you know that, uh, awesome, I am very glad that you did. And you saw how much better it is to use it. So Tia Lisa will have to contact me on Facebook so we can talk about the stuff that I'm going to send her because uh, I'm not going to send her whatever I want because she might have some of the stuff that I might want to send her. So she will have the choice of what she wants. And I have a little Seamus here who wants to talk. Now, for the outside the US, and this is the prize that has um, $100 worth of my paid tutorial. Now, don't be worried if what you pick is, because uh, I thought, uh, well, yeah, I can give you a voucher for $100, but uh, if you pick something that's over 100, you'll still have to pay out the pocket. So again, whoever wins this will have to uh, contact me on Facebook and tell me what they pick. And even if it is a few dollars over 100, uh, that will be fine. I will send you 100% uh, value coupons for the um, tutorials that you pick. So let's hope that I am more lucky with grabbing this today. No. No. I'm trying. I got two. I'm telling you, next drawing, I need to remember and uh, don't fold them like this, fold them in four, because they are much easier to pick. No, they are still two. And they don't go one inside the other when they are in four. Uh, lesson learned. Uh, it's just one. Let's see who outside the United States won. Rosanna Spans Bandi. I don't think she's on because I've never seen her on any of my lives. But Rosanna is the lady from Italy who absolutely adores Connor. So um, I will have to have her uh, contact me on Facebook. And by the way, you can also contact me on my uh, um, email and you can get there through either through my blog, through my website, if you don't have Facebook. OK, so here are the the two winners. And I am even if believe me, I wish I could afford to give all of you a giveaway. But you all know. <laughs> how I am dealing with life in general. So I always try to show you at least a little bit my appreciation. 
So the winners are for inside the U.S., Tialisa Chapman, and for outside the U.S., Rosanna Spandi. And um, I am really, really happy. I would have been happy for anybody who would have won. But I know how uh, Tialisa struggles. And Rosanna just, uh, the fact that she loves Connor so much, she, she's very, real really close to my heart. Uh, but all of you are very, very close to my heart. And you know that. And uh, at any time, if you have any kind of issues, you know that I will answer your questions. I will answer everything that you say uh, and give you all the information that you need by my knowledge. Now that we got this out of the way, hi, Connie. That's a new name. I haven't seen you before in the lives. Oh, hi, Lena. I didn't see you. You just got in. Okay, so let's talk about the lilies now. Are you ready to talk about the lilies or do you have any questions to ask me that we can get them out of the way before I start the live? Uh, before I start the live, actually, let me uh, say this. Um, Number one, I got a request about showing how to buff and generally finish. Hi, Sonia, and generally finish uh, beads. And uh, yes, I will put that, I did put that on my list and I will uh, show it really soon. Uh, let me just a minute check my. Uh, my other mailbox for the other questions because you know how most of the time I would answer them like this. Okay, I got again the question about the other parts of the uh, sugar skull cane. And once again, no, I did not finish that because at the time that I had started the um, project, uh, number one, I needed a whole bunch of white. And unfortunately, the white that I got uh, for that order uh, was part of that batch that we had of uh, Primo white that was absolutely horrible and stretchy and sticky and was doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, and it was not good for caning. And, uh, okay, I'll put it down the wrist and I'll tell you. Um, but by the time I managed to get another good white, um, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I know it was something related either to my health or to one of my pet's health, probably whisper. But by the time everything was said and done, it was way past Halloween and I thought it was, there was no, no more reason for me to post that uh, at all. But what I will, uh, the wing bracelet. Okay, um, but I am going to try and uh, start working on that and post uh, the other uh, parts on my website and then make them public once Halloween comes again around, uh, make them public on YouTube. Um, as most of you know, I had really, really bad fatigue issues and they finally found out that part of my fatigue was uh, due to my thyroid because I was severely hyperthyroid and I went into thyroid storm and almost died twice. So right before I got diagnosed with breast cancer, I went to get my thyroid killed and it didn't die, it just slowly, slowly went to normal and everybody thought it was normal and surprise, surprise, it wasn't. Yeah, I know, I saw those. Uh, but uh, as I started the treatment, I, in the last three days at least, I've been almost back to my normal level of energy. So hopefully I'll be able to catch up and finish those uh, sugar skull things too. Now, 
uh, the Egyptian texture sheet, uh, Lina, if you look, it should be on my, uh, in the Amazon, in my Amazon influencer store, there are actually two. Let me give you the link to the stamps. Because it's in a stamp, it's in, in a stamp, it's not really a texture sheet. But let me see exactly where it is. So there's the large one that's on the second row, and then there's a smaller one that's on the row just uh, before last. So if you look, you can find them there, Lina. Now, uh, then uh, the next question is from the Reese. Um, because Cato has the least translucent translucent of all polymer clays, I suggest that if you want to use uh, a clay that is firm for um, canes, you switch to Fimo uh, Professional, and then you can uh, even Fimo is not as translucent as uh, Pardo or Cernet or even Primo, but still it is way, way more translucent than uh, Cato. Cato is almost not translucent at all, and it also yellows when it bakes. But Fimo is, is fairly, fairly translucent. Okay, the wing bracelet I'll have. To, oh, yeah, I remember what you're, what you're talking about. I didn't uh, finish the tutorial on that yet. I'm still trying to uh, do, because that one will need a little bit of armature. And I know what you're talking about. It was made with the Prima Marketing uh, mold. Okay, let me see. I had a sugar skull, uh, Sabine. I had good, good. Uh, I had the uh, elements for the sh for making sugar skull canes. I started on Halloween and I didn't get around to finish. I only put out the teeth and the uh, eyes. But I have, and I actually keep this on my working table because this is part of my uh, uh, other decor elements in the sugar skull. <laughs> okay, let me see. Do we have anything else? I guess this is all. Anybody else has any other questions? Let me check my messages. I did post the link, right? I did post the link. Yes, I did. Okay. Let me check the messages. Oh. Yeah, the Reese was talking about the... Uh, the whole sanding thing with the little uh, pedicure wand. Because she contacted me, contacted me, and I gave her all the information. Okay. Now, Liz, if you are uh, watching this, uh, she has some issues, and I want to tell you to start with. Whenever you buy tutorials from my website, uh, you might have problems downloading if you have an iPad. Unfortunately, it's the permanent battle between uh, Apple and Microsoft. And uh, uh, I am trying to find solutions, but if something like that happens, always contact me because if none of the Apple apps works for you because it depends on the device and the version of the device and of the software then i will uh, definitely uh, offer you an alternative uh, site
Yes, no, the sander alone doesn't have the sponge on top and the sanding discs of the sander do not work. So you need to get the pack anyway. And that's why I said, be very careful, even if you find cheaper packs of sanding discs than the one that I recommend in my uh, Amazon uh, influencer store, make sure that they have that sander pack. Uh, sander uh, sponge because not all of them do and if they don't it's going to be very hard to uh, sand curved um, surfaces let me post that link again where is it so if you look here and there is a if it lets me do it yeah uh there is a kit there that has the sander and my best i i also left my uh, best advice is if you don't mind waiting because I posted on my blog all kind of alternative uh, suppliers, including AliExpress. And I actually posted on my blog where which of the kits on AliExpress to buy. They are cheaper than on Amazon. Uh, but being AliExpress, you might have, wait to, or have to wait for a much longer time. Well, you can always ask, you know, just Ellen, just send me a message and then I'll try and get through them. Okay, let me see. Next. Yes, once again, I have to remind you that if you are beginners, I have, if you go on my channel page, I have organized my videos in playlists and you will find a, spe a special playlist for beginners with techniques and another uh, playlist with uh, basic canes and beginner canes. And this is exactly how my website is organized too. If you go and look, um, and hopefully what now that my energy is coming back, I will be able to start updating everything in there too. Um, hi, Helene. Oops. Um, I will start putting, because I want to add quite a bit more articles, but being so tired until now wasn't very easy. And right now I am rearranging once again my... <laughs> My claying room, uh, I finally managed to get a third uh, cart on wheels. And I'll have to talk to you about those one time. It is true that they are between $35 and $40, uh, but um, they're about the best thing for organizing. Um, Yeah, Chris, you might wait for quite a bit. I had some stuff coming from AliExpress after five or six weeks. Um, why I liked these cards, and I made a mention of, of them on my um, Facebook page, is because they are so easy to put together with my hands issues. I had absolutely no problems to put them together. Only that, be careful if you find anywhere cheaper than what I recommend. And it's in the organizers section of the Amazon influencer store. Make sure that the shelves, because they are like little basket shelves. Um, yes, I will. Um, make sure that they have wire mesh in the description, because otherwise they'll just have those uh, wires like this and stuff might fall through. <coughs> But yes, there is. I fully intend to do that once I finish organizing. Yes, yes. Oh, and I forgot to bring something. Just a second.
I had to bring too many things for this and I forgot some. Uh, a Dremel workspace? Uh, no, but I want to get it something that's, uh, if you look uh, in my wish list, actually, let me just give you the, the link. Um, it is supposed to be a baker's rack, but I found that it would be the perfect things for me to use for my sanding and buffing station. Let me give you, and you can look for uh, another one if you want. But I found that this would be the perfect thing because it allows me to practically put a chair there. And this. Yeah, that's why it might take a while. Okay, so these, Trish is bringing new molds and uh, they are very good uh, quality molds. Uh, they are not, some of them are not small. They are more on the uh, bigger side, but they make beautiful, uh, they can make beautiful, you know, like box decorations or fridge magnets, or you can even put them on uh, cards if you make cards. Uh, the thing is that uh, I am preparing some instructional videos on how to use them, how to color them. And what I find is really, really neat uh, is that, for example, if you have a friend who's got cats, right, you can make them as a gift uh, fridge magnets with the cats customized by their cats because these two cats are made with the same mold. They are just... Uh, Yeah, yeah. I do have one, but I usually don't use it. I have one of those mandrels that you put. Uh, and uh, there's a whole bunch. They are pretty much all kinds of, uh, of uh, breeds. And then there are other kinds. I didn't do yet a, a video on this, which is like a wing heart. But uh, look soon for this. I will, uh, the video is almost done on these ones. And as soon as Trish uploads them in the store, it will be public on, uh, on YouTube. And on these ones, all I need to do still is to get some gloss on their eyes so their eyes can be shiny. But as I said, these two are made with the same, the exact same mold. And uh, you can see that they look very, very different. It's just a matter of how to color them. And you can give them different expression depending on how you do the eyes. Okay, let me get this out of the way too. And then we can finally move to the next. Now, uh, what I am working on, and you will see soon, I already showed you the Safari bracelet. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, that's the problem. It's uh, swapping the disks. But did you didn't find anything close by or on uh, the Amazon German German Amazon? Okay, so what else am I working on? Um, I said the little molds. And then I showed you already, and again, I didn't bring them here because I am so smart. Just a second. Thank you. 
so there are two because remember i said that i'm going to start remaking some of my first videos uh and among them i am remaking the skinner blend with a lot more um um information and also the mica shift but one of the next ones will be these brooches and i made them a little bit larger than i normally make them uh, and show you how to use your old canes into making these and what i still need to work on is the last part of the tutorial in which i show you how to make your canes smaller and put them together in a much better uh, way super sculpy i only use it when i'm um, sculpting you know little fairies little gremlins little something but otherwise i don't yeah <laughs> So, uh, yeah, look for this one. This is going to be coming up really soon, hopefully this uh, week, this coming week. And it's all with the uh, seashells, sea turtles. And I'll show also how to make uh, pendants out of them, not just brooches. But as I said, these two are a little bit larger than what I would normally make. And uh, there'll be a couple more things, but I'm still in the process of, I don't have completely finalized the whole thing. So I'm in a permanent process. And then I'm working on three different tutorials for my sponsors. Okay. Yeah, generally, and I said when I was uh, doing some scouting stuff, um, I said that I usually, unless I do an orc or a goblin or something that requires to have a darker um, skin tone, um, that would be the only time when I use the Super Sculpey by itself. But normally, I mix it with a Living Doll. And depending on how light I want uh, it, it would be a different uh, shade of Living Doll because the problem with Living Doll doesn't have a lot of translucency and Super Sculpey gets uh, darker when it gets baked. So they kind of complement each other really, really good. But if you really want to do uh, sculpts, I would suggest that you mix the two. Okay, now let's get on to the lilies. And I will show separately how to make a lily cane. This time we are going to do, uh, I will show you how to create a cane for making actual lily flowers. When it comes to cutting the petals, I would suggest uh, Trish has this in her store in the cutters. Uh, this is the water lily. Let me get you a link to it. Did I put up the link for my, for the cabinet? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, let me give you the link for the cutters. Because you can also use the sunflower, but the best is to use the water lily, lily cutter because it's very much like, like the regular lily. Because she got uh, recently... Uh, sometimes what I do, and I said it many, many times, Trish is an absolutely awesome uh, supplier. Sometimes I would get something and I would try and I would use it. And then I would tell her, hey, look, I found this. Do you think you might find it? And most of the time, I mean, 90% of the time, she will find uh, the supplier and she would be able to uh, sell it with very little... Um, overhead 
and most of the time it's it will be way less than uh, the Amazon price. Hold on, I'm looking for these cutters. And recently she got, because I had tried these, uh, the water lily cutter, the sunflower and the poppy and the, what was the other one? Poppy, sunflower, I think there was a third one. Maybe I'm not remembering well. Okay, so the water lily, I'm missing one. I don't know what I did with one of them. It might be back in the drawer. Uh, the water lily cutter is for 525 and it's got four cutters in it. Okay, that was not good. Hold on, I messed up. There we go. This is the link. Okay. Yeah, some doll clay is harder to use. <laughs> the dog molds are not yet up on the site uh, that's what I said the moment uh, she's going to put them in the store I'm going to um, get the video public thank you Christina what I was going to show you something yeah I have a um, I think on my website about the different type of clays and uh, it also has a review on different types of clays for dolls. So let me get you the link for that article. Now, unless you were asking about the Super Sculpey Firm, well, that one is only in gray. But generally, I don't use it unless I have to do something um, that is just purely decorative, you know, like a, a vase or a flower pot or something like that. So, <clears throat> we got the cutters now the thing is if you have watched uh any of my basic canes tutorials and actually let me get you the link to the whole playlist one of the basic canes basic techniques that is used a lot in the uh, lilies would be the ikat cane. Let me find it. Okay. Why is this one? Okay, this would be the basic canes playlist. And if you look at that playlist, you'll see that on the list there's the ikat cane. But the thing is, um, if you watch my pansies, uh, a live broadcast on how to make uh, the the pansies canes for petals, you saw that you need to create that really, really. Let me find an image to show you exactly what I'm talking about, even if I cannot switch anymore. Oh, 
on some of them it's not super fine but on some of them it is super fine so let me try and hide this up see like on this one it's not super fine but on some of them it is super super fine let me find one with the super fine thing and this one is another method when you do a stepped ikat cane like the stargazers are generally speaking about the hardest uh, to make properly uh, i know what i'm looking for i'm looking for stuff like the the lollipop the pixie lollipop see like these ones on these ones you have to go super 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 uh fine when you're doing the ikat cane then the other thing that we need to be uh, careful about hi oloria uh not the dailies i'm just saying first the the principles on about uh, making dailies the other thing that you need to take into consideration whenever you make a lily is that you'll need six petals and the petals on the lily they are let me grab something that shows better they will always be grouped in three you'll have three underneath and three on top i mean when they are put together so you'll have three like this and then you'll have three like this and these ones show better and why i want to do this whole thing about lilies because uh with easter coming i hope to be able to do a tutorial i have a, a thing in mind with you know a cross and lilies and stuff um so all the all the petals are identical but another thing you need to to take into consideration and whenever you want to give the idea of a lily i mean probably you'll be right on spot for some variety because there are so many hundreds of varieties that it's very hard to make something that's not really looking like a real lily so the principles on creating the uh, petal we have the petals like this right one of the kinds the the easiest kind is the white on the what the white will not be uh absolutely purely white ever even uh with the most white of the white lilies i have for example in my garden i have uh, pixie whites and those are so white that it's like they have a light inside hi cherry i'm okay um but you'll still have a little bit of a almost lime green almost neon yellow green right here so this is well you'll always have to do and on all types of lilies you'll have to do a little bit of an eye cat here the other thing that you always have to take into consideration is that there will always be a line in the middle of the petal and the the petal will be pretty much uh, symmetrical along this line and if you look closely at the flower you'll see that there is actually a line there where the uh, the petal is slightly more translucent so what you're looking for as patterns in lilies you will have so besides this you will have the lilies that are patterned here so they might have a full pattern like this like the one that i just showed you or the pattern may be just in the central area 
the pattern may be like in the lollipops, uh, very, very fine, where you have to use the eye cat, very, very fine. Or it might be more diffuse with lines going up and down. The other pattern that you have is the bordered pattern. And in the bordered pattern, you will have color on the total of the um, petal, except for the very edge of the petal, where you have actually, there's a white or yellow, sometimes even orange uh, border. And then you have on some of the lilies, they can have dots between them. And like the stargazers, like the, the tigers, like a lot of them. But we are going to do just a plain lily today. And I'll show you how to create a stepped up uh, eye cat cane and how to do the, the whole dots. Now, of course, there are lilies where you can find all of the above. So you'll have a lily that has the border. And pretty much that's how stargazers are. Uh, then you might have some kind of gradient effect leading to this kind of stuff that I, I told you can be just like this, can be coming up or down, but then it will also be all dotted because the dots on a lily they can be only here they can come like this or they can be pretty much all the way to the border hi raven so whenever you're creating these i'm going to show you today how to make the elements of a lily petal and we'll make a few uh flowers and i got the clay here close to me the other thing and i'm going to show this with primo not with pardo because i just didn't have time to to get this uh, ready for pardo but always when you make flowers you never want to use the um, the clay by itself you always want to put a little bit of translucent if you're making if you're trying to make realistic flowers so I'm going to pull out the translucent, then I'm going to pull out some white. Uh, as a piece of advice, if you're looking for white for canes, um, I discovered something. We are talking here about that uh, nasty white that's all stretchy and plasticky and all that. Uh, apparently the eight ounce white in Primo doesn't have those. I, I've never found a bad batch in them. So try to get the eight ounce batch. And then let's get some yellow. Actually, I think I need the, I'm gonna get the sunshine yellow because whenever you mix it with white, it gets a little bit uh, greenish. Uh, that's another thing that I was going to say right now. Um, whenever you make flowers, you also want to put just a pinch of mica but just a little pinch because of the way that the cells on the flowers are and sometimes they have those tiny 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 hairs uh there is a um, slightly pearlescent look to them and you can see that on pretty much all the flowers on lilies on roses on on pretty much everything so adding just a bit of translucent you don't want to of, uh, trans of mica uh clay and if you don't have mica clay just you know just a pinch of mica powder uh, will make your flowers look more realistic but again just a pinch you don't want to make the whole petal uh pearlescent and i'm going to have to get some uh, cadmium and i have i have some cadmium red here i'm going to get some pomegranate red and I need some fuchsia. Where's my fuchsia? I thought I had it here. Okay, I don't have the... Hmm. 
We can get the blush. But where is my fuchsia? This is the magenta. Give me just a second. I need to get some cadmium yellow and fuchsia. Oh yeah, no, never mind. I forgot that I didn't order the cadmium yellow. It's on my next order list. Okay, but for the stargazer, you will definitely need fuchsia. No, they are not sandwich bags. They are um, cellophane bags. And I showed it before, but let me show it for people who haven't seen this. I'm using... Uh, <clears throat> You can find them in the organizer organizer section of the uh, my influencer store. I'm using these uh, fridge drawers, but as I said before, if you have a family dollar around, go get them from family dollar, not from Amazon because they are cheaper. But the, the they are cellophane, self-sealing cellophane bags. And they are four inches by six, I think, or six by eight. Hold on, I'll tell you in a minute. I think they are four by four by six. And they have a little strip here that you peel off, and then they self-seal every time that you you need. And they fit perfectly in those little fridge drawers. I don't, uh, I used to keep the clay in uh, sheet protectors, in folders, but then I realized that no matter what you do, even in photo albums and stuff, it will still uh, get dry and you'll still have to condition it the same as if you were taking it out of the pack. So generally speaking, I keep my clay as much in the original pack as possible until I have to work with it. And then I put aside in these whatever I have left over and I didn't. Yeah, I'll show how you can do, do you have round cutters? Because you can do this either by cane or by using a round cutter to do the petal. But let me get this up real quick. The way that I always condition, I always take the package like this and I cut it in four pieces. Most of the time it's four. Sometimes it might be five. I'm trying to get as close to the thickest setting on the machine as possible. Oops. Okay, this is not, it is too thick because I don't want to put too much stress on the machine. And I'm going to simply get it through the thicker setting because by mixing, I'm going to get the clay conditioned well enough. Um, you can, you can get, uh, let me find uh, my, Pinterest. If you look on my Pinterest, I have boards with color recipes. So all you have to do is to go uh, online and see something that you have the colors for. And if you need to do a little bit of coloring, you can just uh, go and use the the color recipes. I have uh, several boards with color recipes for wherever I could find them. Uh, there's one big board with all colors, and then I separated them by boards, you know, greens and reds and yellows and uh, pearlescence metallics. Thank you, Raven. Yeah, they are. They are much better to store than...
Oh yeah, and the next next thing I have on my uh, list is the review and comparison between the Atlas and the Makins pasta machines with motor. Hi, Laos de Andal. Oh goodness. I love corned beef and cabbage, but I decided this year to do the I am Eastern Orthodox. And in Eastern Orthodox, the Lent is not like here that you just pick something that you give up. No, it's pretty much a very strict vegan. It's no animal origin food. So. Then must be old, Lena. Do you have a clay softener? I only will need this. This should be enough. <laughs> Well, then you made you put too much if it makes it uh, sticky. I usually add just a few drops and and mix and then add a few more drops until I get the consistency that I need. Let me put this in. I guess I put the yellow in the wrong bag. No, I found the bag for the yellow. Hi, Robin. Hi, Virginia. Yeah, I have, um, but I really need to make a new video about clay conditioning, depending on the type of clay you're using. Because I have one, but it shows pretty much just the translucent. Hold on, let me find it. And it's mostly about Primo, pretty much. Okay. And this one is actually with the uh, French sub subtitles, too. There you go. Uh, makings. I always recommend the makings. Okay, let's get this back. Because I'm not going to even use all of this. I just got some uh, pieces to get them out of the way. But uh, remember, you want for those for this you want the sunshine yellow because it gets exactly the perfect color that slightly green tinged yellow that you find yeah that would only help in the case of pardo pretty much and you don't want to get your clay baked because if you put it near a heater it might get baked overnight 
the warming up the clay works up to a point but not completely uh i just got it but i didn't manage to get around to use it i did get that uh, attachment and i'm planning on using it because i have some uh, extruder tutorials on the way that i hope you'll like I told you if there were 10 of me maybe i'll be able to and get to do everything that I would like to do. And maybe even finish my very own pieces. Your best bet is to get a salsa chopper. Of course, you'll have to kind of get a new one every once in a while because it breaks down, the plastic breaks down from the polymer clay. But uh, the best way to, to, do, to deal with stubborn older clay is to chop it really, 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 really fine and put it in one of those choppers. I'll show you one. And then put a few drops of clay softener and give it a few pulses. Thank you. You really need to. Hold on. Let me grab the... These are between, depending where you find them, I mean, you can even get them for 2 or $3 at a thrift store. But brand new, they are between 7 and $10 in places like Walmart. So all you need to do is to, as I said, chop your clay really fine, put some, put it in here. Never put more than about... A quarter of an inch because you don't want to overwork it it will burn out better do several batches and always clean it really good with alcohol you'll never be able to clean it perfectly because it's not they are not made out of a plastic that is polymer clay resistant but it will help you tremendously and in the the new conditioning clay video i want to make i want to show several of these as well as the never need Okay, where are we? Yeah, I'm not sure how much it would uh, affect the quality of the clay. Yeah, and it also removes the plastic too, Lena. Nail polish affects plastic. You cannot, that's why you cannot uh, use nail polish remover and acetone on polymer clay. Because polymer clay is a plastic. But your best bet is uh, alcohol. First some soapy water and then alcohol. Don't, don't put acetone or nail polish remover on plastic. No, I get the 91% alcohol at Target, and then I use these. So this is some pomegranate, and then I'll and get some uh, cadmium, and we should be good to go. Mm 
but yeah, with my last order, I thought I saw the the one pound thing of yellow. And it wasn't yellow, it was gold. No, I thought I thought I saw yeah, I saw the, the one pound pound gold that I thought it was yellow, but I didn't see the gold. So I went ahead and I ordered gold. And then when it came, I saw the oh yeah, I still had gold. It's yellow I didn't have. So that wasn't very smart. Now I have to wait until my next order. Yeah, sometimes some of the Walmarts do. For example, I don't find, uh, if I go to the Walmart supermarket, I might find it, but not at the Walmart neighborhood market. At the neighborhood market, I only find the uh, 70%. All righty, we are ready to go now. Let me get this away. So let's make a few petals of each kind that I showed you. And uh, then we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do the e cards for both of them and how to do the dots insertions. All right, let's make a stargazer-ish first. Let me get me some white. And as I said, I'm not going to use all of this, okay? No way, Jose. So, let's get one more. First, let's do a stargazer-ish thing. So if I want a stargazer, always remember that whenever you put white, your color would go a lot in the white because that's what polymer clay does. So I'm going to use only half of this. And I do it like this because I'm going to use my V-fold. It's just a simple two colors, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Then another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some blush and fuchsia. Then, because I don't have I'm going to get just one fourth and even less than that, and I might actually get the cadmium. Let me get half of this sunshine with just a pinch of red to make a more orangish thing for a more tig tiger lily like. Hi, Deborah. And I said I was going to make a, a little thing of white for the white lily. And uh, honestly, you don't even have to do a lot of gradient -y stuff. You can go pretty much a lot uh, based on the e cut if you do it refined enough. Hi, the modern fox. The, oh, the modern fox, duh. Hi, V. Yeah. 
you're talking about this i just posted the link uh you can find them on aliexpress but if you're within uh the us uh trish has them at poly clay play she brought them uh, they are 525 for a set of four let me get them again And you might want to look, oh, she's got the sunflower, the poppy, and uh, this. The sunflower is a little bit rounder at, the, at one end. And this one is the water lily one. Since you were 10, wow. Okay, so I'm going to keep this fairly narrow. You saw how I always, when I do these, I always push it back in to keep it narrow. And in order to keep it as narrow as possible, you can always keep rolling it and then reduce the roll. The best thing to use is uh, an acrylic block. And see how we get a very, very fine line of greenish yellow because the sunshine yellow has a little bit of green in it. And you don't need it to be, as I said, you don't need it to be perfectly perfect. Because you're going to eye cat it anyway. I'm trying to see if i didn't miss anything if you ask a question and you see that i don't answer please repeat it because it means that the the chat scrolled up and i didn't see it and i cannot stop all the time to scroll the chat chat back so it's not because i don't want to consider your question it's just because i'm trying to save time and do stuff oh yes she's great that's actually where the giveaway is coming from and i said as i said whenever i find something nice i tell trish it's a one person store and she's a wonderful lady all by herself and whenever i find something good i tell her and she starts scouring the world of suppliers and she usually can find it the only thing she wasn't able to find is that uh, chinese slash japanese uv resin and she wasn't able to find the supplier with the who would not price gouge because she doesn't want to bring stuff that would be way too expensive she's trying to do she's probably except for scalpy.com or scalpy products like i forgot their name uh she's the one with the lowest prices she doesn't go for price gouging for big overhead she's going for volume and trying to make everybody able to buy stuff okay so i got a fairly um 
my not very well focused here. I have a fairly good. Let me increase this. There we go. Japanese item. I'm going to do a Japanese thing for the sponsors. Those cuffs with the taper dents, the only place I was able to find them, and Trish looked all over too. Uh, the only place where you can find them is Michael's, and unfortunately, you can only find them in the store. You cannot order them online. Unfortunately. Okay, and on this one, we're going to go as thin as possible. And then go ahead and and I did forget to do something on this. Oh well, forgot to add the translucent. We'll just make a white, white. And then you just place it and you try not to be exact when you place it. Set them a little bit off. Just a little bit. Not by much. And that is easier to just place them there without paying attention to put them exactly one on top of the other. And now, start expanding it that way. And keep it narrow, because you only want to get it like this. Are you sure it's in Chinese? <laughs> Because I'm, uh, I'm always wondering, well, are you sure it's not saying soup or something? Oops. And now I'm going to cut it again and stack it. And by now, all that ikat that got formed is going to be super, super, super fine. Barely noticeable, yeah, but super, super fine. And to do the reminder of the petal, I'm going to get some white and I'm going to actually place some translucent right in the middle.
Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, yeah, because you know there are some some people who get uh, Chinese characters tattoos, and then they would meet a real Chinese person, and the person would be like, "Why is it saying coat hanger on your back?" And this time I don't want to do an eye cat. I want a fairly good. Gradienty stuff. And I think my. I wonder if our weather is changing. You know, my forsythia is in bloom and uh, daffodils and I have a little hyacinth too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, whenever you're doing a, a Skinner blend, a gradient blend, the fastest way to do it is to keep rolling it from time to time because that's when you're going to have a lot of mixes it at once. And I think it should be good. Okay. So remember, I do have a little line of translucent here. Goodness gracious, I have a really bad, my nose is itching. So I want to place this eye cat like this. Let me try and focus so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to try and keep it really. Small. Yeah, I think I need to to do it a little bit more. It's not fine enough. When If I look at it very close, it's not fine enough. Let me show you. It needs to be much finer. You can still see too much of it. So I need to make it a little bit more. No, oh, come on. Okay, I'm trying to catch up on what you ladies are talking about. Yeah, there's that old uh, bomb cyclone moving into Canada now by what I saw. So I extended it even more to get those lines even finer. Because they weren't fine enough. Mm. 
No, they should be okay. Yes, much finer. I could still go a couple more times, but I don't want to keep you here forever. So, my lines are like this, okay? And my translucent is like this. So, I'm putting these together here. Even if normally I should have put a little bit of translucent in this one too. But I'm going to first get it in a rectangle. to make sure that they are well consolidated together. And then I'm going to pinch. And remember, whenever you pinch, you need to come back and press it back in place. And then I can even make it smaller if I want to. You can do this in the when it's still a rectangle, or you can get it reduced after you make it in a an oval. Thank you, Nunya. Yeah, it is getting very, very. Bye, Nunya. See you next time. Okay, so we have enough material to do six petals, I think. So this would be on the plain white lily. Just getting some thread. And for this, you can use beige, you can use gray, even white if you want. So I'm going to use a little bit of gray. And you can use this kind of thread or you can use even macrame if your uh, flower is much bigger than this. But considering it's a tiny flower, this one, I'm gonna use the regular thread. And I'm grabbing a toothpick. This one I might have to. I'm going to try and get it. Uh, good night, Cecile. I'm going to try and get it as close as I can. Give me just a minute to try and. Get it properly focused. Okay, this should work. Now I'm going to remove my eyeglasses so I won't be seeing the chat for a while. And I'm taking just a bit, just shaving the unruly stuff here. Because I only need a little bit of clay. So see how I have this. And this, after I bake it, I'm going to tell you what I'll do with it. But for now, I want to make a base for placing my petals. Okay. 
uh, after it's baked, you cut these and then with a paintbrush or even a toothpick, you dip it in acrylic paint and gently um, brush only the tips of the threads and you'll have a little blob of yellow acrylic paint. And that's going to make it look exactly like the stamina of the lily. Okay, now this normally, the best thing is to put it in the freezer for a little bit. But remember what I said, <clears throat> that you have six petals and whenever you cut something like this, you place it like this on the thing that this is the table. And you cut like this, the next slice, you want to turn it like this and cut like this. And sometimes you might want to even flip it over. That would, would be avoiding your uh, cane get all smushed. But as I said, the best thing is to put it in the freezer for five to 10 minutes because you'll be cutting much easier like that. See how it's all smooshy. I don't know what I... I didn't mix very well, but it's remember that whenever I do the lives, it's not always exactly how it's supposed to be because it's much harder for me to work like this. It still shows you how you need to work something. And this should be mixed way much longer. But I want to show you how to do the petals first and then I'll show you how to do the scaled ikat. Okay, is this? Yeah, it's okay. Now, I have these and you see that they have some stuff from the, see how the translucent is not very well mixed. As I said, I should have mixed it, but I'm going to do something else that's going to still make it look okay. And that is, the petals are very distorted because the cane was very hot. And I'm going to get another toothpick. I should put them on here as much easier to turn them around. And when you're pulling like this, you're going to pull all that translucent into veins. And you can hold the toothpick a little bit flat on the, if you want to pull more the clay. Trying to do them fast now. But yeah, you shouldn't be able to see these lines here. This should be perfectly mixed. I just, just takes a while to do that. But I will make some uh, regular tutorials on lilies. And you'll be able to see them the way they should look. And I will put this in the oven, so by the time I show you the other ones, it should be baked. And you should be able to see it. But 
remember number one place the cane in the freezer before slicing so it won't start to deforming because then you don't have to spend time to get it back in the shape it's supposed to be in okay so No, this is not. Okay, now remember first three. They pretty much form a triangle. And also, once they are the cane has been in the freezer, they won't start fainting on you like this. And you'll be able to cut much better slices. And then you place the other ones. Oops. Don't drop them. You're not supposed to drop them. I drop them. Now, uh, I'll show you a tip if you're afraid that your petals might stick to each other as they are baking. I'll show you how to put uh, paper between them. So essentially, this is how you're doing the lily. This I came a little bit too low. And then once it's baked, we'll just cut these and get them the acrylic stamens. So if you want to make the petals not stick to each other, you simply get some papers and you place them right under the topmost ones and that way and actually it's better to use a, a softer paper like a daily paper but that's what I normally use whenever I make like orchids and things like this that I don't want the, the petals to stick to each other. And then let's just place it on a piece of something to bake. If I do it like this, I'll be able to get it on something. And whenever you place it to bake, you want to cut the end here. I dropped the paper. And I always use the scissors because it's much easier to cut without messing up the rest of the clay. And there we go. We have a, let me put that one. Eyeglasses. Okay, let me go get this in the oven. And then we'll get to 
the other kinds of petals. Okay, I shall be right back. Okay, <laughs> let me catch up on the... Uh... Yeah, you almost missed it. Actually, it's like 2.14 and that's not... Uh, I'd rather go rest because I'm getting tired. But we'll continue this uh, next Sunday and I'll have these mixes prepared. If you want to be prepared for next Sunday, you saw I put one uh, half, no, this is a full square of white with half a square of fuchsia and half a square of fuchsia, let me get the zoom out, uh, with half a square of blush. And, uh, I will also mix this to have an orange and I will be using the cadmium yellow, uh, cadmium red and we'll do uh, tiger lily. But for next time, we'll need this mix going and some white and then we'll need this, the cadmium red. So if you have orange clay, orange clay is perfect you don't have to make the mix i'll use cadmium ray and uh, some alizarin crimson and we'll do a stargazer uh, cane for the petal yes you did donna i'm sorry and then we'll do um, a tiger lily now let me catch up on the on the chat to see if nobody asked anything Yeah, there is my Connor loves polymer clay. But it's the only winter that I'm looking for to come in April is Game of Thrones. Okay, I'm still trying to catch up. So I will post a very short video after that one is baked. I will post a very short video on, on Facebook on uh, finishing with the acrylic paint to show you. Yeah, Lena, translucent was supposed to be completely mixed in it, <laughs> but I didn't. Uh, so the actually on this one, we are going to mix translucent in it. And I didn't refocus my camera properly. There we go. But first we'll make the mix. The Skinner blend. Okay. I think I'm caught up. 
Okay, so I'll see you next Sunday and I'll show you the various ways you can achieve this. But as I said, I will post tutorials on how to make uh, lilies and especially uh, lily canes. But the pet with the petals, I'll put post a tutorial where you can you do all these mixes, but then you cut the petals with a cutter from the sheet instead of using canes for the petals like this one. Okay, so I'll see you next Sunday. And I am sorry, I only now saw the, the time and because I was wondering why my back is hurting. I went way past the time I was supposed to take my pill. So it's going to take a while now for it to take the pain under control again. And don't forget uh, Tia Lisa and Rosanna to uh, contact me. I will leave Rosanna a message as a comment. And Tia Lisa needs to contact me too. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next Sunday. Have a great weekend. What's left of it? <laughs> Bye. Happy claim. <laughs>